Hello again. Did you miss me? I missed you too. Quick video on rounding decimals. Remember we have our song. Find your number, look next door. Five, oh great, I add one more. The numbers in front stay the same. The numbers behind zeroes your name. Singing we will, we will round you, round you. All right, so let's look. We're going to round these to the nearest hundredths. Rounding to the nearest hundredths. So let's do, first we'll do, first part of our song is find your number. Hundreds place, what digits in the hundreds place? Excellent, the three is in the hundreds place. Ones, decimal point, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we found our number, we look next door. Is the number next door five or greater? No. So we don't add one more, we just add zero. The numbers in front stay the same. Numbers behind zero is your name. Or, as you'll see it written, zero and thirteen hundredths. Zero and thirteen hundredths. Isn't that a cool present? I'm just saying. All right, let's look at another one, rounding to the nearest hundredths. This year, you only have to round to the tenths and the hundredths, so you don't have to go any farther than that. So, this is a good one. Okay, rounding to the nearest hundredths. So we find our number, boom! Look next door. Is that five or greater? Yes, then we add one more. We have to add it, nine plus one is 10, put a zero, carry the one. That's a one. So we have zero and ten hundredths or zero and one tenth. Well, how'd you do that when you ran into the hundredths? Because it became a zero. So these are the tricky ones where you're gonna have to actually carry. And you're gonna have to carry when you have a when you're rounding a nine and you're rounding it up, you're gonna have to actually carry that. So I'm just saying. Uh, another one, let's look at <clears throat> one more to the, now nah, let's round to the tenths. So these are going to go to the tenths. Oh, uh, let's try. And we round to the tenths. What well, number's in the tenths place? Awesome. The nine is in the tenths place. We look next door. Is that five or greater? Yes. So we add one more. 9 plus 1 is 10, carry the 1. When we're adding with decimals, the decimal point comes straight down. 7 plus 1 is 8. Numbers in front, numbers behind, zero is your name. You will see this rounded to 8. Rounded to 8. Let's do another one to the tenths place. 1 and 32 hundredths. Tenths place, three, behind it is a two, so we don't add it one more. Numbers in front stay the same, the numbers behind zero is your name, or you'd see it written as one and three tenths. Now this is one that's tricky to people, where it says round to the nearest whole number. Round to the nearest whole number. Oh my goodness, what's a whole number? A whole number is what's in front of the decimal point. Remember, the decimal point divides the whole numbers in front, the parts of a number in the back. So if we had, we would have four whole dollars and 87 parts of a dollar. 87 hundredths parts of a dollar. Okay, so the whole number is what's in front of the decimal point. What you're basically saying is round to the ones place. So if they say round to the whole number, you're rounding to the ones place. Or in front of the decimal point. But in front of the decimal point is the ones place. So let's take... Okay? It doesn't matter. I could put 98 numbers behind this and it's not going to make it any more difficult. Rounding to the nearest whole number, 13 is the whole number, so the three is in the ones place. Find our number, look next door, that's five or greater. So we add one more. 
that becomes a 4, 14, and all this is going to be zeros. Because the numbers in front stay the same, numbers behind, zero is your name. I don't have to put all those zeros behind it. Rounds to the nearest whole number, that rounds to 14. Let's try another one. Sixty-nine and eight hundred thirty-four thousandths, rounding to the nearest whole number. My nine is the ones place. I look behind it. The number behind it is eight, so that's five or greater. I add one. Nine plus one is ten. Carry the one. Six plus one is seven. So rounding to the nearest whole number, that becomes seventy. Becomes seventy. You've done rounding your whole school career. Since probably you were two days old, you've been working on rounding. So what I'm saying is you should be able to know how to do this. Follow the steps. Find your number. Look next door. Five or greater. Add one more. The numbers in front stay the same. The numbers behind zero is your name. The key is making sure you do the adding because that, that might change what your number actually is. Because I don't make this 60. If I don't carry that then you're going to think it's 60 and that makes no sense whatsoever. So you've got to ask yourself, what makes sense? And then you'll know what makes sense because you'll tell yourself what makes sense. Love you all. Peace out. God bless.